every time I would pick a book up, I would literally put it back down. <laughs> So I've been taking a lot of time um, to, to, you know, reflect on life and process and deal and all that jazz. And so for a whole month, I didn't post anything. And then I got my new glasses in and I was so excited. So I went ahead and just put that video out there just to let everyone know that I'm back. I finally remembered to update my background. <laughs> so I am going to be giving an update instead of doing my usual two videos where I do like my good read wrap up and then I do my reviews. I'm just doing one video because... I didn't do a whole lot of reading in that more than a month that I basically took off. It wasn't that I didn't try. I found that um, I, while I love to read, I just had so much going on that every time I would pick a book up, I would literally put it back down and not something that I'm used to. And so I think by finally just not even trying to pick anything up for a long time was very helpful. And so at the beginning of the month, I had picked up this one book and I put it down for most of the month <laughs> and basically finished reading it in the last maybe week of the month. And so that is the book that I'll be reviewing today. So before I get into that, let me just let you know what's going on with my Goodreads challenge. Let's see here. I am so far behind on it. I don't even know that it. <laughs> I don't even know that it counts anymore. Um, I think I've literally read 40 books out of the 60. And um, at this point, I don't feel like a huge obligation to try to finish out that challenge for the year. I mean, my life doesn't really get affected by like, I don't feel like a loser or anything like that. It's a good challenge. Um, but there have been years in the past where I would see myself maybe getting a little short and read something short to get caught up. Now I have a stack and I mean that literally, like I'm not exaggerating. I have a stack of picture books, both physical and digital that I've been meaning to read for the past two years. And I could technically read those to finish out my Goodreads challenge just so that I can say that I read 60 books, even if they're picture books. So I don't know, I might do that, I might not. So because I only have one book to actually review for this month, I am going to go ahead and just mention briefly what I am currently reading and um, go from there. So my IWSG book club books of the month, which I should have looked up before I started recording this. Um, yeah, I got to do better. I know. But when you get out of the swing of something for a month, it's it's challenging to get right back into it. So I haven't actually started the book club reads, but these are what the book club reads are. I am going to start them. Whether or not I finish them, I'm not even going to try to make a promise on that, but I am going to at least start them. So one is called A Little Ragdoll, and this is, um, I cannot pronounce that. A Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that but you'll see the picture of it. <laughs> the other, um, so that is our IWSG book club book from one of the members. And every month we also do like a craft type book, um, something nonfiction or, or something to like help us with our writing craft. So that selection is self-editing for uh, fiction writers, how to edit yourself into print. And again, you'll see the book cover for that. So those are the two books that I haven't started reading yet. Uh, I think I've acquired one of them. I need to get the other one and just start them in the month of December. That's my goal. Just start them and we'll see what happens. The two books that I am currently reading are the Book of Shadows. That is the sequel to the, um, I think, it, what is it? The Spellbringer series by J.H. Moncrief. Um, I love her. I'm a huge fan of hers. I, I pretty much love everything she does. And I say love in kind of general terms. I mean, I am, I am a diehard fan of reading in general. Like I like to read. I definitely like to read the things that I like to read. Sometimes I read things that are a little bit uncomfortable for me or outside of my wheelhouse, but I still like to read. And I like the way this author writes. So pretty much everything that she's written um, that I've, I've read, <laughs> there's a handful of things that we actually kind of had like a fan author kind of chat one time. 
And she's like, oh, you've read that, you've read that. She's like, well, what haven't you read? And so I am now on a mission to read all the things of hers that I haven't read yet, <laughs> which has been interesting. But regardless, um, everything, like I said, that I read from her, I really enjoy. Even if I don't 100% love it, I always get something out of her stuff. And so anyway, I'm reading the Book of Shadows. I'm reading an ARC copy. And again, I should have read this last month, but I had stuff going on. And so I'm catching up with that this month. The other book that I'm reading is also an ARC copy that I should have read a long time ago. This book is called Druid's Moon. And this is from, I uh, believe, Dancing Lemur Press. And um, I was really excited about this. Like when I got this book, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna read this. It's gonna be great. And you know, life got in the way. So these are the things that I'm attempting to read in the month of December. Whether I get to all of it or not, we'll, we'll just have to see. I'm taking all of the pressure off of me right now. And I've missed reading, but not enough for me to take the pleasure out of it with like demands and deadlines and things like that. So that is, you know, what's happening as far as that. So now let's talk about the one and only book that I actually did start and finish in the month of November. I'm not going to give you the list of all the books that I attempted to start at the beginning of the month and just said, hey, what am I doing driving myself crazy? And I just stopped altogether. There's no point in going through all that. <laughs> the IWSG releases an anthology every year and they're, I love their anthologies. They're really great and they're wonderful opportunities for the members, for many of them to be published for the first time. And some of them, that's exclusively how they publish just not like with just IWSG, but in anthologies in general, because they are short story writers. A lot of people don't know this, but you don't have to be a novelist to be a writer. You could be a poet. You could write short stories. You could, there's all kinds of ways to be a writer. You don't always have to either be writing, you know, these next self-help craze or, or, you know, the next great novel. There's all kinds of ways to be a writer. And I love the fact that if you are a short story writer and you're part of the IWSU, this is an opportunity that you have every year. And it's not like they just take any story. There's a true, you know, process here where you write and submit and you have to, you know, get accepted and there's editing and production. I mean, it's, it's great. Anyway, so their latest release was a, um, a romance release, a sweet romance release. And romance is not like my favorite genre, but I have grown to appreciate it more as I've gotten older and um, I was really excited to read this just for the simple fact that I knew that it would be somewhat like easygoing, not deep, I, not, not, not that it's not deep. There are some of the stories that are, they're just really touching. And so they are deep in that aspect, but in a world where everything is about social commentary, it was nice to read something that was about love. <laughs> so here is my review of First Love, The Art of Making Donuts. Actual rating. 4.5 on Goodreads, it looks like a five star. So it says, this was a fun and light read, something I needed during a time of rest and recovery. While I'm not a diehard romance fan, I was excited to read this latest collection from the IWSG. I enjoyed all the stories, but some really stood out to me. My overall thoughts on each is listed below. And so then this is where I list each title that's in the book and just give you like my overall rating and sometimes some notes. So let's see what I have. The first one, The Art of Making Donuts, a five out of five. I totally understand why this collection was named after this story. For me, it was the most relatable story in the collection. The next is My Heart Approves, which I would rank a four. How to Save a Princess, I also ranked that one a four. I did stop to say that this um, story was a lot of fun great even for non-romance fans like this story um it, it is a romance but it's just such a fun story that even someone who doesn't like romance could get it into it just because of the humor um the next one is called my first loves and i didn't put a note on this one but it's a quirky story i liked it the real thing this one had a nice ya appeal to it um on the next one is paper faces oh go going back to the real thing that was i gave that one a five um paper faces a four Oliver's Girl, a four, Clyde and Coalesce, Coalesce. I, I'm probably going to pronounce that wrong. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I did leave a note for this one. It says the musical elements of this story added a layer of appreciation that music lovers 
whether they like romance or not, can easily get into. So again, this is one of those stories that, yes, it's clearly a romance. However, there is a great musical element to it that even if you don't like romance, if you like music, you would get into this story and the romance would just be secondary to you because of the musical element. I like that. Um, next one is Marmalade Sunset. I gave that one an overall four. This is another one that I didn't leave a note in my actual review, but it was a very sweet and touching story. The Castle of Ono, if I'm saying that right. Um, this is a kind of Beauty and the Beast tale. My mom would love this, and I think I'll recommend it to her. She's into all things like Beauty and the Beast. And um, there's other people out there who are into like all things Beauty and the Beast. And so um, this is definitely, it's not, it's not a typical Beauty and the Beast story, but to me, it made me think of Beauty and the Beast. And so I think people who like that will definitely like this story. Overall, <laughs> recommended to those who enjoy sweet romance or who simply want to read something light and touching. And so that is what I began and finished in the month of November. And I um, am proud of myself for doing that because I didn't have to do that. I wasn't putting any pressure on myself to do that, but I did it. Hopefully I'll get to reading um, the things that are on my current ouch. <laughs> my dog is special anyway. <laughs> um, so I am gonna, um, I'm happy to be back to reading, back to writing, back to blogging, blogging. <laughs> um, but I am, you know, basically readjusting my expectations I'm not putting pressure on myself to do more than I can do and yeah um for those of you who are still here thank you so much for sticking around and let's see what else I have for you guys stay safe and be blessed hey guess what if you like what you see you can totally subscribe to this channel you could also give it a like and leave me a comment I would totally love that okay bye-bye